Okay, so a user on Reddit called Dev Acrasia. Yeah, Dev Acrasia has asked me to explain how to use the Dota 2 model formats in uh, in Blender or properly get them working in Blender. So what that uh, requires is doing a lot of exporting uh, skeletons from uh, from source two. So let's say we want to work with a particular character. Uh, the ones with, that are going to be the most up to date will be the uh, ones highlighted in blue and yellow. So those are that's just, I'm only going to use one of those uh, as an example today. So uh, let's see. Let's do faceless void. All right. So Void has all his budgets listed here and stuff, so if you're making items for the characters, uh, these are what you want to follow for the item slots. But if you're just using them for, like, uh, manipulating models for Source Filmmaker later or uh, your own little fun in Blender, uh, I'm going to show you how to import things like the getting the proper skeletons and uh, the proper uh, files and animations and stuff. So I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it faceless void new. Um, if you do uh, a lot of uh, workshop work like I do, uh, it really helps to have like an organized uh, folder of all the different heroes you decompiled. So here we've got our faceless void folder. We're going to just export those. Yeah, real quick. Easy, done. So now Blender's FPX import is actually pretty lousy. Uh, excuse that beep in the background. That's just uh, my router making noises. Um, so we're going to import an FPX and I've made an operator preset, but all that is is just scaling by 100. So when you're importing an FBX, uh, you're going to want to set the scale to 100. So we're going to find this is void new and import this is void economy dot FBX. And as you can see, he's pretty big. So if we want, I'm going to just quickly adjust my uh, my grid in display. Just set that to 16. There we go. That's a little better. So Faces Void is imported into pieces like every other hero. You can hide each individual one and just get them out of here. So you can see his skeleton underneath. These bone rotations are terrible. This skeleton is unusable. It's awful. Get it out of here. So we're going to delete that skeleton. Um, actually, if I undo that, I can show you what happens when we delete the skeleton. He's now lying down on the ground like he should... Uh, like he shouldn't be doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to select it all. We're going to hit R X 90. We're going to rotate it on the X axis by 90 degrees. And we're just going to keep it up there. We're going to select all and we're going to hit control A and apply the rotation. This is similar to Autodesk software where you're clearing transforms. So we're going to apply the rotation and have them stuck up there. Now, how are we going to animate them and rig them with uh, our own items? We can't rig our own items to him because he has no skeleton anymore. Well, he does, however, still retain his vertex groups, and all the bones in the skeleton we're importing are named the same, so it would work. It's gonna be, it's gonna work just perfectly. So we're gonna load up the Dota 2 uh, tools. If you haven't downloaded these beforehand, you should. We're gonna launch the item tools, uh, and we're gonna get a cell. Uh, we're gonna get ourselves a skeleton that works. Um, that is pretty weird. I don't know why that's included there. I guess those are just back faces for his skirt that are very poorly aligned. Uh, good job, Valve. Uh, so we're going to click the asset browser and we're going to go to Source Filmmaker. And we're just going to load that up. So we're just going to create a new session. We don't care. Uh, set session map. Um, to do that, you just right-click this empty scene, click Set Session Map, and you're just going to click the Dota Map. It doesn't matter. Like, there we go. We're not actually going to do any filmmaking or anything. We're just going to find Faceless Void 
uh, inside uh, the uh, asset browser. So just void will probably be fine if you search it. Uh, and then we're going to find the model. So the player model uh, will be here. So you can see it animating in this window. This is the void model. I don't know what this one is. Yeah, this just seems to be an empty model of void. You want the one that's animating. If there's a model, if there's multiple models, like an older character model that exists or placeholder models, because those are never cleaned out, uh, you want the ones that have the animations. So this one's animating. So we're going to drag that into Source Filmmaker. We're going to minimize that. And we're going to click on Faceless Void. And he's already in the bind pose. But just in case, we're going to uh, we're going to right-click this uh, this faceless void model file right here, and we're going to go import sequence, and we're going to find uh, idle. No, wait, no, we're not going to find idle. We're going to find uh, bind pose. That's what we want. We're going to hit OK, just to make sure. And we're going to export animation. And now we have DMX files. Uh, beforehand, you should have the DMX files for Blender downloaded and installed beforehand, uh, so you can import DMX files. So I'm going to go to uh, our Face of Void folder. I'm going to save this as bind.dmx. I'm just going to save it. Done. Now, let's say we want to also have a couple animations like his run or his idle. We're going to import... Uh, a new sequence, and let's get his regular idle animation. So yeah, we're just going to hit OK. Uh, we're going to go back, back there and hit Export Animation, and we're going to do the same thing, but we're just going to call this idle.dmx and save that. Uh, next, let's get one more. So I'm going to import one more sequence, and we're going to import his run animation. Now he's got two, run and run underscore anim. I think they're both the same, so it doesn't really matter. So we're just gonna hit, we're just gonna get run, and we're gonna export animation, run.dmx, save that. Now we can just go ahead and close Dota 2. So, back in Blender, we're gonna hit file, import, source engine, uh, model file, and we're gonna hit, uh, bind.dmx because this is this is what we want first we don't want to import any animations we just want the bind skeleton so we're going to import that so as you can see it's all lined up just fine first things first uh we're going to clear the rotations so we're going to go into pose mode we're going to select all and we're going to hit alt g r and s just in case there's any scale now you can see that he's sideways for some reason, lying on the ground, also twisted a bit. Uh, this is just the way the uh, skeletons are imported uh, when they're compiled on Valve's end, I guess. Uh, and we want to clear, we want to uh, create a keyframe for this because if we scrub along the animation uh, timeline, it goes back exactly where it is because all of these bones have been keyed uh, after being imported. Or at least this is an animate. This is the bind poses animation keyframe. So we're just gonna clear all that, and then we're gonna hit I, location rotation scale, and go back to object mode, and then we're gonna rotate on the x-axis by negative 90 degrees, and rotate on the z-axis by negative 90 degrees. Now we're going to uh, clear the ro uh, apply the rotation on that. So when we select all and hit Alt, G, R, and S to clear any more transforms, he stands perfectly still. Now we can freely pose this. But oh no, he's no longer bound to it. Well, remember how I mentioned he still has his vertex groups. Uh, we're just going to uh, go back to modifiers, and he should be retaining the armature modifier from when we imported the FBX. And we're going to hit object and apply it to his new skeleton. Nothing changes. Everything works perfectly fine because Blender is an amazing piece of software. Fight me. It's, it's fantastic. And oh look, everything works just perfectly. Now, if you want to um, like apply some texture to this, it's pretty simple. Just tab, uh, and you've got this. Uh, 
there is an issue where some imported uh, some imported player models might have flipped UVs. So we're just going to check that real quick. So I'm going to hit Alt Z to swap to textured mode. There's nothing here. So we're going to uh, in the um, the UV image editor. I'm going to hit image and just open a new image. Uh, we're going to Go to Faceless Voids Materials folder. There's a whole bunch of stuff here that's all useless. It's stuff like Fresnel war uh, warps. Like, I don't know why Valve has included all these different Fresnel uh, ramps, but they we don't use them at all. So uh, we're going to find Faceless Voids base color. Yeah, Faceless Void base color right here. And his UV maps are not flipped, so everything should just be fine. Uh, if they were flipped, you would just select all these and hit, like, Control M, Y or something. But if it's not flipped, everything is just fine. Um, you should know how to use Blender if you're doing this, so I shouldn't have to tell you. Uh, faceless Void, Head Color. Let's just get this all nice and colored in. Uh, faceless Void. Uh... These are the shoulders, I think. Shoulder, color, those are cube maps. There it is, shoulder, color. Uh, arms, color. This is his belt, belt color, and his weapon. There we go. So now we got all void looking nice in Blender. So now what do we want to do? We want to get them moving around in this scene. So we're going to go file and we're going to import back to source engine and then we're going to import the uh, the idle. Now make sure import animations is ticked. This isn't going to import a new skeleton. This is going to apply the animation to the new uh, to the bind pose. So if we import That should take a few seconds. Okay, so he's rotated back because we rotated the skeleton earlier. But all we need to do is just uh, select all, rotate X 90 degrees, uh, and we can all we can reset all this back uh, the same way we did before if we ever want to go back to bind pose. Um, uh, if we're just doing this to preview things, but now he's got his idle pose, and if we want to preview it, we just hit the play button, and that's all there is to it. Everything works flawlessly. There's like no hitches. It just works. It's like King Crimson in in Golden Wind. It just works. Speaking of King Crimson and Faces Void, time mechanics, all that. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, that's how you do it. That's, that's all you need to do. Uh, actually, if I uh, pause this. I'm going to undo the rotation I did earlier, and I'm going to import the run animation. We're going to test that out. And then rotate that again on the uh, x-axis, and there we go. That's all there is to it. So, uh... Hope that helps, and uh, it's really the best way to uh, uh, work for Dota 2 in uh, in Blender. Um, there are a few issues with other characters, like um, uh, Winter Wyvern's uh, skeleton has scale applied to it, so you have to like apply the armature modifier before importing her old skeleton. Um, it's it's she's like the only uh, she's the only hero I've had any problems with, but uh, I figured out how to fix them. Uh, please don't come back to me to ask more questions about this stuff. I hope this is enough. Um, I'm just kidding. I'll uh, I'll I'll ask questions, answer questions that you may have. I don't know. This is a really sloppy tutorial. I might re-record this. I might not. Uh, anyway, I hope it was uh, helpful.